Today's video is inspired by Ghana, Africa. Some people call these yams, but they are not. They are sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are orange and yams are white. Okay, so let's make some candied sweet potatoes. You're going to need to wash and peel three cylinder sweet potatoes. It's just easier to use a vegetable peeler as opposed to using a knife, but you can use whatever you have in the kitchen. Now you're just going to cut these into coin size medallion pieces you don't want to cut them in thick pieces because then they'll take longer to cook please subscribe to my channel to watch more sightseeing savings recipe tips and tricks all right so i'm done cutting up all of the sweet potatoes and i'm just going to move these to the side for now if you're going to cook these in a ninja speedy you have to make sure that the smart switch is on the air fry function next you have to push this button all the way down to the sear slash saute setting you can use this setting to let your food cook and simmer on low or high heat i better put this on low heat because i don't want the syrup to burn All right, so now I'm going to boil the candied ingredients. You're going to need eight tablespoons of butter, one cup of white sugar, and then a quarter cup of brown sugar. one tablespoon of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. I'm going to use one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. I like to use pumpkin spice because pumpkin spice has cinnamon, ginger, cloves, nutmeg, and allspice. You save money by buying everything in just one container. And I'm all about the savings. So now you just have to stir this and let it melt down until it turns into a syrup. And I'm just going to let this simmer for a few minutes. Now I'm going to add in my sweet potatoes. Next, you just want to make sure that the sweet potatoes are evenly coated in the syrup. You want to make sure that all of the pieces will have flavor. Okay, so now I'm going to take this off of the saute setting and move this up to the bake slash roast setting. I'm going to change the temperature up to 350 I'm going to bump the time up to 30 minutes you just need to stir the syrup on the sweet potatoes every 15 minutes I forgot to put in a quarter teaspoon of salt I add a little bit of salt to help to balance out the sweetness Okay, so now these sweet potatoes are done. You're going to know when they're done when they are fork tender. You don't want to overcook these because then they'll start to fall apart and become mushy. I already tasted a few pieces and they are nice and tender. I can definitely taste the vanilla and all of the other spices you can pair up these candy sweet potatoes with some traditional soul food side dishes like cornbread collard greens or black eyed peas you can eat this for soul food sundays black history month or 
whenever you want to. So now it's time for me to eat some more of this food. Thanks for watching.